Welcome back to segment four. Recap. We coated our motor mount and reinforced it with hot glue and we put a carbon rod in the leading edge of the wing back to about here. This is where it's going to take it the most abuse, where it hits something right here. And this is really tough stuff. So we, this thing is really, really strong. To make it even stronger, we're going to laminate. I didn't put this in the list of materials, but I did, I will. This is laminating film. It's 1.7, 1.7 mils. It's the thinnest that they have at a loft, a loft hobbies. It's called the new stuff. If you go to a loft hobbies, go to the search for their website and type in new stuff and it's cheap as all get out. You can get like 25 or 50 feet of it will last you for a long long time. Okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to cut enough of it to go this way and this way and we're going to cut off a hunk of it like that. Now I'm going to take this and cut it in half. Probably out of a, like this. Doesn't have to be exact. And okay, we have our laminating film cut. I cut that one big piece, I cut it in half. What I'm going to do here is you don't need to laminate the alibons. They're tough, and what we're going to do here is going to strengthen the plane. You could always do them later, but we don't need to. But I learned a little trick on the first three that I built. You need to laminate, you need to wrap it around this segment right here, this, this area. But we're going to do that when we come back around the other side. So I have lined this up with the very edge right here of the elevon and the edge of the plane right there. And we just lay that down nice and flat. Iron's good and hot. Okay, we're going to go like that. Again, I use the hot iron technique. Some people don't like it. I think it makes the plane more strong. Okay, so we're going to bring this over like this. You're going to see this real time. Okay, now, hot iron, the, the iron could melt the foam, so don't linger on the foam, on the, on the, uncovered film. I have yet to make to um, to melt the foam through the laminating film. I like to get it good and hot. Okay, now we're going right up next to our hot glue right there. Okay. Now what I've done here is I have I'm going to trim around this because we don't need any there and this is this piece is going to overlap the nose If you go like this, you should not get too many wrinkles. The wrinkles will iron out if they're not too big. Okay, we got that right next to the hot glue. Okay. Okay. Might have got a little hot glue on there. I just rubbed that on a paper towel. Okay. I know you're going to say I say okay too much. I'm going to trim this off right now. We don't need it because 
the wing tips are glued on with hot glue. I'm going to have to cut this right there so it overlaps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to overlap it this way. Now I'm probably just going to show half of it because the other side's the same or I might finish it up that way. But we want to pull it kind of tight. Now this is really going to help strengthen that leading edge along with the piece we put in there. So I'm going to pull that kind of tight and I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to move down and pull that tight. Pull this tight like that. Come up here. Pull this tight. And we're going to go right over these holes and cut them out later. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're just going to keep going because that will overlap nicely the other side, the nose. We're just going to go ahead and leave this whole piece on here. Wouldn't hurt. This 1.7 film weighs very little to nothing. It is. It does not add enough weight. And I'll tell you what, from experience, this plane will handle lots of weight. The wing area just is amazing and you don't have to worry about overloading it. You can see this by using what I call the hot iron technique. It starts sticking to all the little bumps in there. So what we're going to do here now is cut around this like this. And maybe I can cut into that. Cut around cut this. That off. And we're going to take and cut this one off too. Like that. I need that piece. And I cut this right here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap this a bunch go right back over the top like this this one the same way now we don't need this extra right here We're going to overlap that and I'm going to stretch it pretty tight like this. There is a weak point right here for a couple of reasons. I'll tuck that down in there. Can't hurt. Use the back side of the iron. I'm going to go back over the front like that. 